What up, you crazy mofos? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having an awesome day. I want to talk about paint and ways to identify paint. I see a lot of videos online being thrown around and everybody kind of, you can see them kind of half-assing their way through the whole uh, identifying paint and everything. Depending on how far down the rabbit hole you want to chase it, it can get extremely complicated. It is far more complicated than vinyl wrap ever thought about being, but if you know how to use it correctly, it can be far, far better than vinyl wrap ever thought about being. Today, we're gonna stick to, with just the basics, just being able to understand and not really sound so stupid, or maybe even sound smart as far as describing a color or a kind of paint or any way the paint may shimmer. Yes, that's the term. I'm gonna start off by saying all paint, all paint has a face and a side tone. Now, I'm gonna show you a diagram here and do not take this any more complicated than what it is. Basically, just focus on the face, the flop, and the flash. You can get carried away with this as far as uh, chameleon paints and color, you know, color chain paints or dyes or, uh, you know, any kind of custom paint and how it may shift and as far as the angle and yada yada and so on and so forth. But today we're gonna stick with just the basics. So it's just basically just a face and I'll pretty much just stick with the flop. So the flop comes at like a 45 degree angle or thereabouts and it's nothing more than what people describe as it changing or turning dark on a curve. I've dealt with a ton of customers that have been trying to describe and you can just sit there and watch them as they're describing it to you. And as the paint changes on the body panel, as it does nothing more than curve. And they're just seeing the flop or AKA the side tone. There's really no easy way to put it. It's just how it looks on the side at an angle, about 45 degree angle and square on at a 90, you know, perpendicular 90 degree angle. That's all it is. The first category of paint I'm going to put this into is gonna be called solids. And it's nothing more than just a raw color. Just, and it doesn't twinkle, it doesn't sparkle, it doesn't anything. Now, it may change darker on a body panel or it may get darker in a curve or it may turn lighter. But a solid is nothing more than just raw color. If it's blue, it's just blue. It doesn't have any pearl, it doesn't have any flake, it doesn't have anything in it. So, pretty simple, pretty basic. Next on the list is metallic. And this is the one where everybody kind of gets hung up on. That I'm seeing anyhow on the internet. And it's a derivative of the word metal. And actually, back in the, you know, when they were painting cars in, you know, just the turn of the century, 1900, 1920s, 30s, and so on and so forth, the pigment was actually finely ground polished metal, aluminum. There are different variations and they could find, grind this stuff quite fine. And I'm not gonna get into any more detail than I have to on this one. There are different kinds of flakes and I'm not gonna talk about those today. There are different sizes of flake. There are different textures of flake. There are different variations of flake. Now the ones that everybody sees that are colored and it is, it does have the twinkle and the sparkle that is not aluminum look, silver look, is gonna be a pearlescent color. Now you can call it a pearl, pearlescent, either is fine. Now this pearl can be synthetic and there are a ton of them. is you can 
open up a can of worms. It is, you gotta be very, very careful. I have my house color deck here and pretty much everything in here is gonna be a pearl. Solids anymore are really becoming the rare. Uh, it's it, it, People seem to like the colors, the variation, the twinkles. Let me see here. I don't know if I can get. And if we. Oh, that's going to be metallic. That twinkle, that sparkle. You see how it's colored? You see how it changes from the face? to the side tone. You see that color changed? So basically you're gonna be looking at the face there and that's the side tone. Face, side tone. So that's pearls. Pearls are colored. Uh, this can be, like I said, the actual sparkle can be a derivative of a synthetic a plastic. It can also be a natural mineral, which is called mica. Anyways, a few years back when that tsunami hit Japan, if anybody remembers when they were, if they were painting cars at the time and they remember, comment below because paint became very, very expensive and it was just, you couldn't get it because they had, uh, there was so much damage to the mines and everything and it took so long to get back up and going. So uh, I would imagine that pushed, they had a pretty big push of uh, synthetic pearls into the market. Lastly, there's gonna be tricoats. Now, tricoats can be one of two things. Uh, if you see a color like House of Colors brandy wine, now everybody loves the brandy wine. Uh, and it's gonna be a candy. If you think of a candy, uh, and a candy is nothing more than you would have like a metallic base. Silver is pretty common. Gold is used a lot too. Now you can use pretty much any color you want. And that's the awesome part of getting into custom paint is you, it's limitless. You are literally limited by your imagination. Again, today we're not gonna touch on that. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. In a tri-coat color, typically they would have just a regular base or like a silver or gold base. And you could spray a dye over it and this dye is suspended in a clear binder, you know, which is pretty, it's a paint with no pigment. It's just, it's clear. And sometimes it's just as clear as water and sometimes it has, it's a little cloud uh, but once it's reduced and sprayed through the gun and, and actually sprayed on the panel, it's clear you can't see through it and it's just going to suspend the pearl. Uh, I know like Cadillac's infamous WA800J. That thing was all over uh, Escalades. It was predominantly used in the Cadillacs, uh, in the cars, the bigger cars. That was nothing more than a white base. You know, they had their proprietary uh, recipe for, you know, their own formula for the white base. And then it was nothing more than white pearl sprayed over the top of it suspended in a clear base. Now on the other spectrum, it would be like a candy. Now a candy is nothing more than a dye sprayed over, like I said, that gold base or that silver base. And they spray the silver base down to catch the light, reflect the light back up through that dye. And that's what causes that glowing effect. This was factory on a lot of colors. Uh, Ford Mustang, like E9, they had their laser red. There were a few other factory colors that had this candy effect and they were a tri-coat. Uh, they're super hard to blend or match. If you need to repair the panel, it can be quite difficult, but it's still very, very common to see a tri-coat in the OE world. Very, very common. I know all of this can sound kind of confusing, but I'm, my goal here is to simplify it, break it down, and kind of open up a new spectrum to people. I'm also gonna start creating playlists, so this isn't gonna be my first video as far as touching on paint. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that I can help out with, drop it below. Other than that, 
do have an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.